All right, we're here at my outdoor worm bin. And last time we had day one of the spring versus fall watermelon versus pumpkin experiment. And based on where the critter hole is, and I believe it is right here, let me just make sure, we know that the watermelon is in this section and the pumpkin is in this section. So let's start digging. Now, I didn't take any castings out of this like I usually do weekly because when I peeked in here I saw a lot of this bedding still on here. I'm thinking that the worms are really going to enjoy what they've got fed. So far nothing and I know it was pretty close to the surface. We are getting some worms. Let me just dig in a little bit harder. I don't see anything resembling watermelon right here. It's been five days. Five days since we started this. Let me see. Oh, nope. Okay, I may have turned. I did. I had the bin turned. So the watermelon is here and the pumpkin is here. So I was mistaken. That is not a, there's, there's not a critical hole right there. So, okay, let's regroup. Let's start digging here. And like I was saying, this may turn into a rind experiment. Here is the first piece of watermelon. And there's a little bit of flesh. It's actually, it, it looks like it's kind of matted down and there are mites in there for sure. So there's a piece. Let's see what else. Oh, there's another piece. Again, the flesh seems to have kind of gotten flattened and they're eating, I can tell, the periphery. All right, one more piece. Okay, again, flattened down. I actually thought that this would be more eaten than it was. So maybe they've gotten to the pumpkin. Maybe that's our first indicator that maybe the pumpkin is the one that's ahead. There should be one more piece, if I'm not mistaken, of watermelon in here. And I think I feel it right here. So there we go. The worms are definitely inside this one a little bit more than the other ones. All right, so that is Team Watermelon. I'm going to put that to the side over here. And let's start digging for the pumpkin. All right, so far just lots of worms every time I put my hand in here. Just getting a ton of worms. I'll kind of dig in a little bit. Oh, I think we are seeing a definite preference here. Tons of worms right there. And I see what appears to be just a thin peel of pumpkin. So let's keep digging. And again, whoa, <laughs> an absolute worm ball there. Obviously on a piece of pumpkin, that's all that's left is the rind. So, oh my gosh, look at all those worms. I think we have a winner here. I think they have mostly gone to the pumpkin and kind of ignored the watermelon. Wow, I mean, just every handful has more and more worms in it. So there was four pieces. So maybe it'll be four peels. Let's just kind of put this. Jeez, look at that. Just wherever the pumpkin was, just tons of worms. All right, I'm definitely gonna call it pumpkin goes faster than watermelon. At least in this bin, at least at this time of year. It's November. So maybe they know what time of year it is, but fall one. Fall one for sure in this bin. Wow, that was the this is the quickest experiment I've ever run. Five days total. These worms are doing great. So I think what we can do is give them a little bit of food in addition to this watermelon and pumpkin we have. And you know, the pumpkin really no rind it's just the peel whereas watermelon i feel like they are still you know there's there's peel and if you've ever had watermelon in a worm bin it definitely is almost like a plasticky peel so they really have not attacked this there's you can still see the pink they just really have not gotten to it the other thing i'm noticing is mites on watermelon versus pumpkin and you know there is no more flesh on the pumpkin so don't know if they ever had mites, but again, that could be something. Could be something, some reason why the watermelon didn't get eaten first. But there was definitely more worms over here versus watermelon. So 
Okay, let's kind of put all this to the side. That's just going to go in our feeding area, and here's that worm ball again. Just remarkable. I'm not going to dig in too much to the other areas. I'm sure there may even be some more of the feeding before that. But I'm just going to make a, a spot right here. I'm going to give it more bedding, and then we'll put some more food in here. And here's those little coffee filters I haven't really gotten to yet. In comes the bedding. And for this bin, I like to give a lot of bedding since I take the castings out, usually weekly. Here's what I brought just in case. I've got a whole apple. I don't think that's going in there. Some bananas and some greens. So we'll start with a banana peel. Put these greens in there. Now the greens were not frozen. We just made a salad from our garden and we didn't have time to freeze them. Little apple core. And then occasionally I will chop up my banana peel. And then how about some papaya? We'll see if they'll get through that. I'm just going to kind of mush it up, turn it inside out or something so they've got more access to it. And then we'll go with a whole banana. I have a feeling they're going to like that. And then a couple items. This is a loofah. We grow loofah and use it for a sponge. It's really good for that. But these are kind of the ends we don't use. And I'm going to see if the worms will eat them or travel through them or what the deal is. But they are really dry, fibrous. Great, great again for a sponge. All right, that's about it as far as that goes. We're gonna put a watermelon in. And this was a really cool experiment. I, I thought it was gonna be watermelon. That was my vote. I know a lot of people did too. So once again, once you do an experiment, you find the real answers to your questions. And you know, one experiment for somebody else could go one way and it goes differently for you. Put a little bit more bedding on top. And then we'll do our coffee, which is just coffee and tea that's been sitting around for weeks. I just add it a little bit by little bit, and then we will add some of our grit, which is just pulverized eggshells, helps to aid their digestion. So yeah, this, this um, experiment went real well, real quick, and if you liked it, um, first go ahead and hit the like button, but also I've got three playlists over on my channel if you wanna subscribe and see how my different bins are doing, and I, take them from start to finish casting so you can follow a bin all the way to fruition. Wow, just <laughs> look at that. Look at these worms. They are everywhere. This was this was one of their favorite foods, watermelon. I had never done pumpkin before, but in the comments I got a lot of people telling me how great those go and how fast they go and a lot of good pumpkin worm videos <laughs> since Halloween just recently passed. I love those. But yeah, if you like this video and you like this experiment, maybe you want to check out a couple other experiments I've done here or here. And I hope everybody is having a great day and happy vermicomposting, everybody. Take care now.